Oh yeah, how are you doing? Welcome to ship number 200. Deal, 200. All right. So what are you using today? Well, I'm using some of my favourites. Salt is probably my favourite salt base. Give me three guesses. We come. 1912 Club Caller. Uh, I've just done a head shave with this. There's still a little bit of water. There's the, the soap in the in the tub. If you haven't used Wickham before, it's a vegetal soap base. There's the ingredients there. Which is, I think, it's brilliant. Darren Barnes, the man who makes the soaps, top fella. Been quite supportive of charity raffles and one or two of the things. When I've asked for stuff, he's been happy to help out. Not for free, I had to pay for the stuff, but he's a top bloke. Very good soap base. Some really good scents. This is, say, a Club Cola. Uh, I think it was like little Cola Cube Sweeties, pineapple. It's fresh, it's lovely. Really nice summer smell. The brush is a uh, Carvanis and Richardson. These were retailed through Magards, made for and retailed by Magards with a 26ml Magards. I think it's a two band. In it. So that's the soap, that's the brush, the blade, direct stainless red. This will be shave number eight on this blade. There should still be life in this one. So, these are new old stock blades from Czechoslovakia. I managed to <coughs> come across them, found them to be quite good, and bought a few of them. And we'll leave that there, shall we? Razor, something new. Above the tie. And above the tie were two base plates. This is an above the tie slant, as you can tell by the angle of the head. That's the, the solid bar. And there's the open comb. Uh, according to the website, they're both the same blade gap for the blade gap nerds, which is 0.61. But I'm going to go open comb, see what it's like. So you can see on the top cap the, the slant on the blade just by the, the uh, machining marks. This wasn't new, this was picked up second hand as a complete set for what I think was a really good price. Complete, I think it's the Atlas handle. A little short, little short one. So there's the razor fixed up there. Blade gaps always look off on slants because just the way it talks the blade down it always looks bigger on one side than it is. But There's the brush, wet but not dripping. So how is everybody? It's mid Sunday afternoon here. Had an early tea time this morning, came back, cup of coffee, power cap, over 50. Another power cap, just to keep the world in balance. Another second cup of coffee. Just like, I need to shave, head and face, so just done the head with a leaf razor. That thing makes head shaving ridiculously easy. I don't mind shaving, I've got to sit and smell this stuff for the afternoon. So we've got enough load in there, enough down the side of the, the 
tub and on the tub and everywhere. Yeah, this razor came up and wanted to shave them for them, so I was just like, 85 quid, mm -hmm. two base plates. So you're basically getting two razors for the price of one, aren't you? Yeah. With a solid bar on the, the open comb. Yeah, I thought we'll have a, we'll have a go with that because I've gotten above the tie. R1 solid bar. And it's, it's not shiny or blingy or in your face, it just it just works. And above the ties at full retail price are. Ah, Costly. Actually, even this brush was second hand. This was, wasn't bought brand. Wasn't bought brand new. Aluminium handle. Really nice economics and. Dimensions next to the brush guy, which is from I've got. This is the most ergonomic brush, it just works perfectly, fits in the fingers. Wickham soap is, for, considering it's not its vegetal base, it's very, very thirsty. Wickham soap came about because Darren had a skin condition, which meant he reacted to most shaving soaps. So he took it up on himself to make a soap that he could use. So if you have sensitive skin, or you don't like tallow, animal products and shaving soaps, a lot of people don't, I'll give Wickham a go. Very good on the skin. Poor shave is top notch. some heat in this blade so yes still a steel razor the above the ties well this one is wife's which is over there is aluminium so there we go and the S1 open comb Apart from looking at the razor when it arrived in the mail the other day, this is the first time to be out the box. Yeah, it's uh, working rather well. In the last video, uh, there was a comment from Callum who said I should do a video when I was on about me mate getting married. He said I should do a video using what I used when I got married. 
and that was probably the Mac 3 and some canned gel or foam or some description. If I remember, the next video I will use when I work it out. Stuff that I would use if I was getting married today or at this present time. So, conversation below in the comments. If you were getting married, what razor and soap combo would you use? The brush isn't really important, is it? It's the razor and the soap that deliver the shave. Well, throw a blade combination in there as well. Well, maybe I'll do that. I remember in the next video I'm torn between using something with a scent or something that has little or no scent. I'm totally going for the soap and splash combo combinations. I've got some aftershaves, what oh, EDPs, I've got my own scents, which is what I like. So I'm more than happy to use an unscented soap and then apply scent afterwards from a bottle. No issues with anything from that first pass. That would actually be good enough to, to work on. I can go to work on that and not think twice about it. I know some people will say 85 quid for a second hand razor. Well, it's actually two razors because there's two base plates. So it works out, I'll say, pretty reasonable. Despite the knurling on the handle, the barber's pole knurling on the handle, that soap has some slickness. There is a little, a little bit, a smidgen of overhang on the top cap. But not a great deal. seem to have fallen out of favour. It's a bit like the note of progress. You don't see many people using those in on well, YouTube really. It seem to have fallen out of favour. My progress is one of my favourite razors. If it was 
was the only razor I had. I'll be happy with my lot. But, like many others, I've fallen into a rabbit hole. Welcome to Wetshaven. You'll save money. Yeah, by the time you've got 75 soaps, 30 razors, 20 brushes, you've saved a fortune. I could just stop right there. Wickham soaps aren't more of a UK, European scent level than an American scent level, if that makes sense to, to get. By that I mean most of the American soaps tend to be highly scented or stronger in scent than the European counterparts, mainly because of restrictions. the amount of scent that can be put in the soap base that apply in Europe. There isn't a set percentage, it depends on what oils for example, you're using, or well, the maker is using, as to how strong it can go, but generally it's a lot less in European soaps than it is in soaps from over the pond. That's just residual sickness, I think you can see it on the hands. That's just residual soap on the face. So, I've seen about three hours when I've had a face wash with this. Hello, we're back. For some reason the camera memory card corrupted the file for the post shave part, so take two. Yeah, quality shave. So what do we use today? Wickham 1912 Club Caller. Quality soap, lovely scent. Darren makes some really good scents for his soaps. Uh, and that was lathered up with a Cavanis and Richardson 26mm two band, which has a Magards knot in it. The brush was made for and retailed by Magards when they were available. The razor was above the tie, S1 slant, 
absolutely no issues at all with that. And what I did put on was British Barbers Association Post Shave Balm. Here and there, have a look, there we are. PBA Post Shave Balm. Matter of fact, let's put some more on. Another squirt. Looks like baby poo. Unscented. To date, the best balm I've used or tried. It isn't cheap, however, it is very, very good. And the blade in the razor, I forgot that one, it was a joint stainless red. So, if you have any comments in below, like I said earlier, about having a wedding or having no wedding, and uh, what setup would you use? Just interested. I've got my own ideas. Uh, any comments regarding any of the gear in today's shave? Leave them below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.